Cecilia Bartoli was born in Rome, Italy in 1966. Today, Cecilia is recognized as one of the most popular and successful opera singers in the world. With a vocal range of three octaves, expressed through a unique empathy, Cecilia Bartoli has developed the song as an art form. She's the daughter of Silvana Bazzone and Pietro Angelo Bartoli. It's a little bit of chaos now, eh? Both former opera singers, and it was from them Cecilia received her first music lesson. The cows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can't p bring people here. <laughs> How many lessons uh, did you have in a week? Did you, but you make know, it regularly or just... No, I think we, 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 in a way regularly, whenever. but every day, you know, every day maybe 10, 20 minutes before, before lunch, yeah. just between, but you know, then mama was cooking yeah. in the kitchen and then suddenly, you know, for maybe you need 10 minutes for pasta cook. Yeah. So she and was running she was here and then having and lesson and then uh -huh. after that running back. <laughs> so did it, I see. I see. So, so what I learned is really, yeah, about music is really from, from, from my family. Cecilia's first public performance was as the shepherd boy in Tosca. She was only eight years old. I think I was singing somewhere, somewhere here or yeah. there. Since her voice developed at a very early age, Cecilia was able to make her professional operatic debut at only 19 years of age as Rosina in Rossini's Barber of Seville. This made her one of the youngest opera singers ever to debut on a major operatic stage. When she began working with the conductors Daniel Barnborn and the Polar Music Laureate Nicholas Harnencourt, her international career exploded with roles as Zerlina in Don Giovanni and Dorabella in Cose Fan Tutte. Al petto stregge mi scoppa il timore, mi penso l'estate di mio piacere. Not only is Cecilia one of the world's greatest opera singers, in addition to her vocal performances, she's dug deep into the history of operatic music and resurrected long-forgotten and little-known music from the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries. I'm very proud to present the Cecilia Bartoli Music Foundation and its first major project to the Museo Mobile Maria Malibran. In 2011, Cecilia won her fifth Grammy for Best Classical Singer for her recording of Sacrificium. And in 2012, she was inducted into the Gramophone Magazine's Hall of Fame and also received the Herbert von Karajan Music Prize. The Polar Music Prize 2016 is awarded to the mezzo-soprano Cecilia Bartoli from Rome, Italy. With a vocal range of three octaves and a unique ability to live a role with fullness of expression, Cecilia Bartoli has developed song as an art form. Cecilia Bartoli has spellbound audiences in the world's greatest opera houses, but is not content with the well-known repertoire. She has dug deeply into the history of music and presented long lost music from the 17th, 18th, and 19th centuries that is completely new to today's audiences. Cecilia Bartoli adds new chapters to the history of music, builds bridges between centuries, and deepens our understanding of Europe's cultural heritage. Cecilia Bartoli shows us that raised voices can change the world.